the floor I think, is yours. I think the floor is mine, eh? The floor yes. is yours. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, hello there. We are back in the Stad Schouwburg, the municipal theater where we started eight years ago. Isn't that amazing? I'm happy. Good that you're here. Um, it might surprise you, but um, I'm going to talk about design with you. It's there on the screen. Um, I would like to um, uh, uh, look at this from a few perspectives, and then, of course, also explain you a little bit about what design can do, where we are now, where we were, and where we are going to. Design can very often be perceived as luxury. It can also very often seen as something exclusive. And even stronger, design can also feel a bit trivial. But on the other hand, it's also a very important tool for us to transform society. And that's for us, for what design can do, extremely important. A tool to transform society. And we do that with an international, engaged, creative community. And you are, of course, part of that. How, how are we going to do that? That is, of course, the big question. Uh, we do that um, with a so-called social impact design program. That is something that we have been working on for the past few years. We're doing it now, and we will also be doing that in the coming years. Um, this social impact design program uh, consists out of three important program uh, uh, parts. Events, media and publications, and design challenges. Well, events, we are in one right now. It's happening here at the moment in Amsterdam. But we also have one in Sao Paulo. We have been, doing, we have been working there for, uh, for three years now, uh, building on a design program in Brazil, a continental country, um, something you cannot underestimate, it's super important and also very uh, inspiring to work there. So, Bebel, are you there? Where are you? Our, our director in Sao Paulo, where is she? On the balcony, Bebel, thank you so much. <laughs> Already there for three years. Um, there is a rumor that we're also going somewhere else next year, but I cannot unfold that yet. We will keep you updated. Kuno is running around. He will tell you more about it in the coming two days. Okay, um, next to the events we have media and publications. So I invite you uh, to visit our website. It's a content-driven media platform where we publish about the impact of design on a daily basis, 365 days per year. Um, and it also counts for our books. We publish them. They're all about the impact of design. We publish them on an annual basis. Then we have design challenges, a very important tool or a, a part of a program for us to transform from inspiration to activation, as I always call it. Um, we started two years ago with the refugee challenge um, that was followed up by the climate action challenge. And at this moment, we are also working on a new challenge around uh, sexual exploitation of children. Very, very difficult topic, no minor thing. Um, and last but not least, we are uh, at this moment researching a brand new challenge around clean energy. So I can imagine that when I tell you all the, these things that we're doing, maybe you have the feeling, okay, is there some kind of an idea behind it? Is there a vision behind it? Of course, there is. Um, of course, we did some thinking. And, um, uh, and of course, we have a focus. We have a focus on, on three very important uh, uh, themes, topics, issues. They are based on the, uh, uh, on the sustainable, uh, uh, the sustainable uh, uh, development goals of the United Nations. And they are climate change, obviously. Uh, they are social justice and health and well-being. What we do with these, these big topics, of course, we have to narrow down. Uh, so we do a lot of uh, intensive research with our partners and problem owners. And to, to do one step back to the, to the stuff that we already did, for example, when we started with the refugee challenge, we collaborat collaborated in close uh, uh, harmony with IKEA Foundation, but also with UNHCR. And those two uh, uh, organizations gave us um, uh, I said a very good direction in how to work on these uh, uh, complex issues. So together with our research agency, Standby, we developed this urban refuge journey in which we defined 
specific areas where design can make a difference. That also counts for the no minor thing challenge. It's, it's, an, it's a challenge that we developed in close collaboration with the public prosecutor's office. And it's obvious that we could never have done that without them because they give us the expertise. Together with them, we did all kinds of workshops, research, again together with Standby, uh, to make this happen. So I'm also happy to announce that this no minor thing challenge uh, is going to kick off today. It will be uh, at Bali at 11.30. So please check it out. Um, these are big issues. I mean, climate change, social justice, health and well-being, global issues. And of course, we also have to focus, when you do that, on the so-called local solutions. Um, a good example is the Climate Action Challenge. We, uh, we have been working on that um, uh, together with our fantastic partners in the past year. Um, uh, and it was very clear that uh, such a global, big, pro complex issue like climate change that we should focus on the local solutions and so also on the local issues at hand. So we asked the designers and creative teams to apply projects and proposals that focused on local situations. We got a massive, uh, uh, very impressive amount of, of almost 400 entries from around the globe, from 70 countries. Um, and I'm also very happy to announce that today at 2 o'clock we have the demo day of the winning project, again at the Bali. So be there at 2 o'clock. Uh, there will be 12 uh, 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 teams who will present uh, their projects. Um, of course, I cannot show it here because we don't have time for that, but I would like to give you one sneak peek of one of the winning projects. <laughs> Ocean, poop on the pseudo problem, send us whatever you've got. We'll solve it with deep research. Hello, this is the very report from the Children's Coming Service, live from India. Where we have all types of weather, all at the same time. It's a mess. Everything is ulta pulta. Plastic in the ocean. Garbage. Poop on the street, poop, poop, poop. That's why we started the Children's Club in your service. We solve all your problems. Big or small. You send us a problem to solve. If she... While getting a new school. All reporters are everywhere. We, we find heroes. We find, find answers. answers. We are TV. We are online. We are an app called Scrap. Download our app. We are Scrappy. We are a tropic is revolution made in India for the world. When no weather report will ever be the same again. And that's our promise. Be Scrappy. It's lovely, eh? So nice, so nice. Um, so again, this challenge we did in close collaboration with IKEA Foundation and Autodesk Foundation, led by Dagan Cohen, sitting over there. Thank you so much, Dagan. Um, <laughs> but also, and also I would like to emphasize that we do this with many partners. We start with standby and we just ended this whole fantastic uh, uh, journey with uh, Social Enterprise NL, our accelerator party. So Social Enterprise NL, thank you so much. Um, last but not least, um, the Metropole. Uh, what Design Can Do is also strongly focusing on, uh, on Metropoles. And we have some very simple but important reasons for that. First of all, and you probably know that, the majority of people live in cities and in the coming years it will all only become stronger and stronger and more and more. So if you have all these people living in those metropolitan areas, then we also should focus on the societal and environmental issues at hand in those areas. And hey, it's also very nice to know that the creative community is also based in those cities. So that's, of course, as what design can do, what we work together with. So that also inspired us to, um, to focus with our next challenge, the Clean Energy Challenge, on five 
metropolitan areas on five continents. So what we are doing at this moment um, is that we are researching clean, uh, clean energy uh, issues in Delhi, together with these people. Dedicated team called Quicksand in New Delhi. Uh, we also go to uh, Nairobi, and we do that in close collaboration with HIVOS. Um, by the way, uh, uh, the people from Delhi, you will see them tomorrow morning here live on stage with a connection from New Delhi. That also counts for Sao Paulo. As I already told you, we have been working here for three years, and at this moment, people are coming together, and today, at the end of the day, there will be a live connection with Sao Paulo. Um, this also counts for Mexico City. Um, we still have to reveal some things about Mexico City, but we'll get back to that later. But also, we will focus on the Clean Energy Challenge research together with these beautiful people. And then last but not least, we're based in Amsterdam, our headquarter. So also here in Amsterdam, people are working on the Clean Energy Challenge. And also tomorrow, we will have the Clean Energy Challenge jam here in Amsterdam, also with a live connection here in the theater. So when you look at all these people, all these beautiful people that are working with, uh, with great dedication um, uh, uh, to make their place, their city, their metropole, their neighborhood a better place to live in, um, there's only one question that I would like to ask you as an audience. Um, are you going to join us on our mission to transform society? Is it a yes? Yes. yes? yes. Excellent. Thank you so much. Um, I wish you two great days. Um, there will be a lot to, to, to experience, a lot of inspiration, a lot of fantastic speakers, workshops, etc., etc. Um, and we talk later. Thank you. Thank you, Richard. Thank you, Richard. Thank you.